Welcome back. We are here on Ether looking at the cryptocurrency market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, November 2nd, 2020. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. We have a signal service on the Patreon and additional uh, technical analysis that are only available for our Patreon members if you would like to join. The link is below. So let's get to it. So, Bitcoin, we rallied again on Friday's session, but we did not clear these highs. So, until we clear these highs, then we are basically just trading sideways, and we are most likely going to fade towards the 50 moving average. I say that because the distance between the 50 moving average and uh, the price level at this moment is quite substantial and usually when that is the case we have a pullback very similar to what we saw here and so on and the same goes for here um, we can also look at the technical indicators for example the rsi it is at 74 this is means that it is significantly overbought and that we should expect a pullback before going higher at this point um, buying at this the price level is just is very risky what you basically need is a pullback towards the 50 moving average and then enter the market. A possible entry to this market is around here. Do you see this previous resistant levels which will act as support and that is around half of the fall here. So around uh, 12,500 or 12,400 it would be a, a good guess where you basically could enter and best case scenario is basically the 50 moving average. Technical indicators, they are barely uh, bullish uh, well not bullish they are getting flat technically the macd is bullish but and the uh, stochastic is barely bullish but the cci is technically flat it has signaled that it has been in an overbought situation for several weeks now so it's just a matter of time before we basically see something similar to this and a fall towards the 50 moving average however a break above the highest year of uh, well, when was it was it was on tuesday We'll open the door to much higher levels. We have technically cleared this. We are basically touching this level here. And we have to go to the weekly chart in order to technically see this. So way back in 2017, we hit the highest zero Bitcoin of nearly uh, 20,210. And since then, we haven't gotten close to that. Um, but at this point, we may get there. We could also look at this picture as a double top. For example, here is the same price level, price level as we have here. And if we have a double top, that means that we will most likely go significantly further down. However, I am fairly optimistic because we have a trend line here, which will act as significant um, support. So if this trend line breaks, that means that we'll head towards the 50 moving average in the, in the weekly chart. And that is all the way down to 9,206 before finding resistance, no support. And if that breaks, then we'll go down to the 200 moving average at around 7,264. It is fairly unlikely as um, cryptocurrencies are seen uh, today, similar to as gold, as, um, as, um, as assets that you um, invest in, in for, uh, as a safe haven. Um, so... Most likely, as long as we have a, a economic crisis, coronavirus, and so on, that will benefit Bitcoin to the upside. So, Ethereum. We can see that we have to go to the daily chart again. We can see that we tried to rally um, on Friday session, but we didn't really get anywhere. Uh, the technical indicators for this cryptocurrency are uh, looking better than for 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 Bitcoin. And the reason why I say that is because we're only at 52 uh, in the RSI. There's a lot of move to, uh, room to the upside. We are in a slight upward trending and have been for quite some time. We could um, write a significant trend line here, which is basically your point of entry to this market. Uh, if this price gets close to that, and it will also coincide with the 50 moving average, then this is basically a, a signal to buy. We can just see what happened when we got close to this um, only um, a few months ago. This was near end of, of, of July. So that is um, a 
price level to to um, to um, to uh, pay attention to because it has proven every single time we get to this uh, this trend line we basically rally and if we break below that trend line then we go down to the 20 the 200 moving average if we rally here we need to to um, to get past these price levels uh, that is at 416 that opens the door to to uh, 445 there above and then to 480 and to 100 490. So no interest in basically shorting this. We are in a very nice uptrend. Uh, this was fairly parabolical move. I like these moves where it's very um, gradual um, uh, increase, but it's predictable. This is completely unpredictable. So I prefer this and hopefully this will continue um, getting close to this trend line, rallying, um, getting to a uh, overbought position, selling again, and so on and so on. That is the, the easiest way to trade. So, hope you find this video helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the subscribe button down in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button. And you're welcome to uh, enjoy our Patreon channel. Several people have already uh, joined, and it is a blast. So, good luck, and thank you very much.